Oh, how the bloody hell are we? What an honour and a pleasure we get to do this every week. How's your roll, Baz Lanka? He's enjoying it. Plenty of yolk there. Bit of, bit on the, bit on the cake. Right, the long food. Did you enjoy yolk growing up, Toss? No, I'm not an egg man. Oh yeah, you're not an egg man still. I hated yolk. All through my childhood, adolescence, it's only in my adulthood I'm, I now absolutely love it. Especially since microwave popcorn. Seriously, who's that? I reckon it was around before microwave popcorn oh. was the egg yolk. Is what I'm. <laughs> oh, true. Is what I tend to feel. So we've got the Will Ashcroft Ep. Um, we interviewed him last week, but uh, we're going to do the top of the show today. So we're really excited. A bit of a heartbreaking sort of weekend for Melbourne supporters like myself, but Rogers Blues got up, so we're going to go in and chat a bit of footy. Rog Berto, how are you this Monday morning? I like Rog Berto, he has a nice little Mexican tinge and my family used to take the piss out of me for having a moustache when it was in its infancy so they call me Sancho or Sanchez but I prefer Rog Berto a lot more I reckon Rock, paper, scissors You do it on, you don't do shoot? I, I go on scissors so we had controversy earlier All right. Okay, no we'll go with that oh. Rock, paper, scissors Damn! Alright, yeah Bro, paper, scissors. Yeah, come on! Into the wire, it's down to the wire. Bro, paper, scissors. Bro, paper, scissors. Ah! Baz, this is the last ep on the old set, so um, boss man Dill Buckley's built a new studio just over there, and for the new set, it looks like this. So that's what we're going to be recording out of from now onwards. So this is the last one, so it's a bit sad. Isn't it? New era. Exciting. Ah, super pumped. Big Biggest round of football so far, I reckon. Oh, easy. I think there haven't been... What was the game of the season, like, maybe two, three weeks ago, where everyone was like, oh my god, that's the that game of the season, blah, blah. Yeah, I don't know. North Richmond. <laughs> yeah, what was it? Because it was one of... Like, I remember sitting there thinking, this might be the best game I've ever seen in my life. Was it Collingwood Richmond or something? I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, long story short, this round has managed to uh, absolutely... Uh, engulf that one, it's uh, indulging in it, it's, it's eating it up, it's delighted itself in its presence, so. How's I'm a downward airman? Yeah, I like it. Don't Sexy, don't it's, it's rugged. Don't know if it'll last. You look a little bit like um, Chris Hemsworth right now. Facts, facts and figures. I want to kick the footy, do you want to go for a kick after this? Yeah. yeah. Not really. No. Do you no, actually want to? You won't, no, you No, I can't, I've got you. I, 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 I can't I, move. I wasn't playing. Alright, this is going to be the best show yet, Goes Alright. G'day guys and welcome back to Goes Alright, episode 15. My name is Cade MacDonald and I'm joined by my co-host, Connor Rogers. How are you, mate? The single greatest weekend of football I think I've ever witnessed and been involved in, so I'm walking on cloud nine at the moment. Unfortunately, not the same for your Ds, but uh, how did you interpret that weekend of football and your weekend in general? Uh, yeah, I was fine after the D's result. We'll touch on that in a little bit. But over the last few days, I've been stewing on it and I'm a little bit upset. But overall, my weekend was fine, barring uh, the massacre at Marvel. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the AFL weekend was, it's going to be talked about as one of the all time greats. But just quickly at local le level, the mighty Banyul Bears slayed the beast. Eltham undefeated in three years, beat us earlier in the season by 150 points. Come out with two on the bench, I'll be one by three points to... See, to sometimes I come in and I don't have a coffee, and I'm a bit lacklustre and I lose my way. Today I've come in and I've had two, and I just... I don't know if the coffee... I, sh I short-circuited. Do you reckon the coffee is the be-all and end-all of, of the performance of each show? I reckon you're putting too much weight on the... Uh, <laughs> I reckon you're some... Mind you, you, were, you, had, you had the one stumble, but that wasn't... Well, I, I short, I short circuit. The rest, I thought the rest of the chance. Here's great. my thing: in an NBA game, you, you get, you have one miss for for a 20 minute quarter, then you happy days. Yeah, I thought the rest of the chance was great. I just want to be perfect, and I wasn't, and that's I'll, I'll have to live with that for the rest of the week. Tossy, no one's perfect, mate. Oh, I am sometimes. I don't know. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's film Specky McGee this week. Yeah, you want to film it finally? Yeah. And guess what? I'm going to dress up as. You know how Jack Harlow wore the Freo bucket hat? I'm going to D's bucket hat at home, so I'm going to wrap the whole song in that. Thanks, Doug. Hey, how are you? Go well. The Premier's. Who's that? Kane Chandler. He gets 
five and forty every week in the VFL. Can't crack it. It's that good of a list, mate. They put this fence in at Gosh's paddock to keep the nuffies out, and they're doing a good job because it's nuffy proof. I can't get in and say good day to the fellas, but um, yeah, obviously just a bit of a flush session for the boys. I don't think this is anything too strenuous. Some of them have said good day. It's made my life. I don't know whether I go full. Caden McDonald of 2013 where I used to wait around to get photos and autographs. I'm not sure if they can do that with COVID at the minute so I don't know whether we go full stalker mode and try and say good day, but geez, just a couple of good days, it's made me day. Like a bunch of animals. Big Instagram, socials. About as close as I was. As we see, Caden in his natural habitat. Observing the 2021 premieres. Caden is nervous. I've had a panic attack before entering. Mate, I've had three coffees and I'm so nervous. We're not even that close. Vinny, the nerves. Corny. I think it's Brayshaw sure got a cast on. So this is stuff that get me. Ah, uh, Arch. On the weekly vlog. Hello, Kados. The man's back. I'm back on it. How are you, mate? I'm good, mate. I'm very good. About to pull off a trick shot and amaze some people. We love content. Yeah, we love it, don't we? So, um, yeah, me and Miles will be linking up to get a trick shot done and let's see what we can produce. Are you in favour of the wet and dodgy conditions? Um, it doesn't help, but uh, we back ourselves. We back the skills. <laughs> Um, you got to get it done. We're, we're system based. We're system based. You trust the system. Um, yep. Trust it's the what, system. It's what, you, it's what you put in place at training. Play our roles. Oh boy. Oh, the Arthur Seat Challenger man himself, 2018. Yeah. Got rid of the. Uh, get the pipes out. Got rid of the old Casey Jansy. Oh. <laughs> in case I get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't bring mine. <laughs>